Okay, this is um playing Super Stardust Ultra VR. This is um well single player arcade normal difficulty first planet low low gear. Um <clears throat> It's a really good game. It's the sort of game I like. It's a two twin stick shooter. Okay, now the first thing is I died quite a lot at the start of this, um, but I kept going on this one because I actually had three red uh, weapons upgrades, uh, and I do like the uh, sort of flamethrower one compared to the others, and it does seem to be the uh, strongest. Now, as you play this game, you um, when you hit the green stones, they break off, and you'll either get points or you'll get weapons upgrades now obviously there's green rock that turned into a point um, some layers you don't really know what you're going to get and sometimes it changes a bit you know you hit this sort of rock once and uh, you'll get something hit it and play it again you'll get something else out it's all got to do with um, well it's a bit of a random thing in time it seems like Okay, the first thing over here is I I so I change it up to the fire weapon. Right, and um, obviously the main thing is to clear some of the rocks off as well. Now, every time you pick up a weapons upgrade, it mostly really, I think it sort of does it by about four percent uh, because you start quite low and. Um, it seems to go up in about um, four degrees. Now, just then there was a rock that come down, and uh, there was a number 16 around it. That is um, means if you hit that, and then you sort of go for it, will go another rock will come. It will say 15. Another rock will come down. It will say 14. Hit all of them, and you'll get a special bonus at the end. Usually, don't get anything too good. Just points. So, in certain ways, it might be okay if you want to. Um, dead again no lives left um, if you want to get a high score then yeah go for it if you want to um, try and get through the game as quickly as possible maybe it's not worth it right these are the things I hate the sort of wormy things the best way I could seem to do is basically stop a little bit go forward a little bit and shoot out the rear stop again shoot no, I'm gonna stop again most probably now Right, there's no point in getting too far ahead because they sort of do the wrong thing after that and come from you the other direction. Right, this is uh, obviously a lot of rocks, so just try and get away from the rocks as fast as you can. Uh, but sometimes as you're leaving, obviously, uh, and going forward and you're shooting forward, you create a gap behind you because you're going through those rocks and you're creating like a, a gap. So sometimes when you go forward, it's worthwhile then going backwards shooting forwards again um, because you've created a bit of a gap for your thing to manoeuvre maybe a little bit more obviously you've got the um, thrust button which I never learnt about really for a long time I'm talking about a week or so it does help and it does actually do things that you can't do normally like you can actually pass through some of the big bosses uh, and that comes in handy later on which you'll see in uh, the second one Again, the only thing you can do here is really hit the rocks, maybe try and clear some off completely, rather than just trying to hit everything, just try and clear certain rocks when, once it gets too much. Right, I left that blue one there because I like the flamethrower. If that turns orange, I then get a weapons upgrade. So that said 38%. We can sort of see maybe what it does. Well, no, it's the next time again just keep away from the red circles because that's obviously where they're hitting see so I'm working out like I say sometimes you work out and then you end up going back on yourself because you created a bit of a gap now the more flamethrower you've got in percentages the faster you can go like I'm going a little bit forward maybe I'm um, stopping keep firing stopping move a little bit move a little bit and so on as it gets bigger you can just really